it shouldn't be each scientist protected their own legal territory. They should work together. They should be given the funding to work together and move faster than mm -hmm. any single scientist can ever hope to move alone, right? So that is how DARPA was born back in the 1960s. Um, DARPA is, again, is the Advanced Research Program Agency for Defense. And Regina, Dr. Dugan, ran DARPA for quite a long time. And she's the, the first woman ever to run DARPA. And she's wow. amazing. She's absolutely, she's brilliant. She's a powerhouse. She's like one of the most intelligent people you ever meet. Regina uh, started Welcome Leap, which is an independent subsidiary of the Welcome Trust, where the Welcome Trust is one of the world's largest philanthropic organizations. So Welcome Leap is basically to health, what DARPA is to defense. Wow. But instead of being national, DARPA is within the United States. Welcome Leap is global. Mm -hmm. So it's an agency that sponsors high risk, high reward research, but you got to move fast. So it's designed like DARPA. So every research program is a three year sprint. Why is why do you have to move fast? You got to move fast. You need to you need to find out fast. Yep. They give you a ton I of money. It. They give you autonomy. Yep. They work with you. They help you remove all sorts of blockers that we have in academia, that you have in the industry. They just really help you move fast because we have a problem. That we can't spend another 20 years just finding out if hormone therapy is important or helpful for Alzheimer's prevention. I need to know soon, right? Before yes. I go through menopause. All of us, we I, need to I know. Guess.